Alright guys, welcome to another video, and as you probably know by now, we don't do things by halves. So we've got three giant packages from Xiaomi. Let's get them open. Opening up the first box, we've got something that resembles Lego. But it doesn't end there. Alright, in the first box alone, we've got five different products. And what more to say other than let's get right into it. First things first, Xiaomi's second generation headphones. And I wouldn't say they're going to blow you away in terms of sound quality, but the design is really slick. They aren't wireless either, but they do come with a cable that has a remote and mic attached. One thing of note though, the cushions and therefore resulting noise isolation are fantastic. It's hard to believe this is by the same company, but the second product is a sling bag which is not a very traditional design over here in the West, but is something that is quite common in the Far East. And it's pretty tiny, or you could call it fun-sized, because it only has a four litre capacity. So not exactly enough for a full day's work, but plenty for phones, cash, and maybe some books. Well, I've got to give this one thing. It's one of the best presented construction toys I think I've ever come across. And it's smart too. The hub has all manner of microphones and sensors, and even four USB type C ports to connect further interfaces. And the pieces are as high quality as with more reputable brands. I'm pretty impressed with this one. The next item is Xiaomi's Bluetooth headset kind of looks like a thick version of Apple's AirPod, and you only get one of them here. But it does have a really high quality mic, so your voice comes across really clearly, which kind of makes sense as calls are its main purpose. You can use it for music, but sound quality is pretty forgettable. Well, I can't say I didn't expect this video to be weird, but Xiaomi never seems to fail to surprise. It's a company that produces all manner of weird stuff, and shoes is one of them. These aren't smart shoes, they are literally just trainers, but I gotta say they're not bad at all. Style-wise, it's always gonna be a personal preference, but in terms of the outer materials and the comfort, it's just as good as something that costs twice as much. Moving on to the second big package, which kinda looks like one larger item rather than lots of smaller items, but we'll see. As I said, with these boxes, it literally could be anything from Xiaomi, but it looks like we've got their robot vacuum cleaner over here. That's something a little different. Also in the package, we've got the docking station, which is pretty cool because when the robot starts to run out of charge, it'll automatically seek it out and plug itself in. Okay, after about two hours of playing around with the different features here, I gotta say this robot was nothing but impressive. It's got this rotating brush which funnels dirt into the suction area. And you can also configure the power of the suction in case you want it to be a little quieter or you want it to pick up more stubborn dirt. It's got a carpet mode as well, but the craziest part for me was that when you first turn the robot on and let it go, it travels all the way around the perimeter of your room. It maps it out and basically understands where everything is so that it can make its route more efficient. All right, package number three. And if it's anything like the ones we've seen so far, I'm pretty excited. Oh wow, okay, this is Xiaomi's 4K drone. And I gotta say, out of all the packages we've seen today, I think this is the best presented. So if it wasn't already clear, this is the company's DJI Phantom competitor, and coming from the way more expensive Phantom 4, it doesn't feel like a complete downgrade. You've got a 3-axis stabilized 4K camera here. The remote is made entirely out of plastic, but feels still nonetheless well built. I do think the footage from the Phantom 4 is a tad crisper, but here I've pulled up some footage from Andy RC on YouTube comparing the two, and you can see it's really down to personal preference. There isn't nearly as much difference as you'd think. So pretty cool.
Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and a lot of time has been put into it. So if you did, if you could smash that subscribe button, that would mean a lot to me. And if you enjoyed it, we've got plenty more like this. Lots of mystery unboxings, lots of cool tech from Xiaomi, Samsung, etc. So I'll leave them as links to this video. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Aaron. This is Mr. Who's the Boss. And I'll catch you guys next time.